Hello. How's everybody today? I just want to show you a pretty cool thing about living here in uh, Vera Beach. Uh, Vera Beach is a really growing place. I love to talk to people who've been here for 20 years and talk about how it was all orange trees. Now it's grown up. We're growing up. It's got growing pains, definitely. Traffic's terrible. But there are places like this. It's um, the, uh, this is the Lagoon Landing. And these natural little walks are all around, all over Vera Beach. And you can, there's an apartment complex right there. There's Busy, uh, Indian River Boulevard. Up there is A1A. And then a couple of more blocks is uh, the main street, or the main area, main downtown of Vera Beach. And from here to the nine miles to the interstate, it's just uh, every box car you can find. And um, you'll, you know, box car, any big box store you can name. Um, but then there's these little places all around. I'm going to kind of make some videos and show them to you. You can see this is kind of popular. There's several cars here. It's pretty cool. I also want to tell you a little bit about my channel. Because I want the channel to grow. But, so it's that busy and here we are in solitude. It's pretty cool. Here's a guy here. I don't know about him. See. How you doing? All right, yourself? Good. The Lagoon Greenway, that's what it is. Unfortunately, I have found that we need a um, mini adventure trail loop. Guess we'll go this way. Um, I don't have mosquito spray, and that's one thing I've learned that you go, you gotta have mosquito spray. But look at how lush and quiet and serene this is. And then just over there, you got all that traffic and all. It's kind of crazy. But as far as my um, channel goes, um, I kind of want it to grow, but I have a problem in that. <clears throat> the way I do things. Um, first I want to explain to you, when I was a kid, there were three channels, three black and white channels, and um, the ETV channel. And that's all there was as far as TV. As far as TV, there wasn't a lot. But you had, what you had, is you had um comedy channel you had comedy shows you had um you had comedy shows you had dramas cowboy shows and variety shows and um you know now you have all those channels and the thing about YouTube and um, YouTube and Etsy and all these other platforms people are doing and making money, money off of is that you have to have a niche. That's a big word, niche. They use that word, throw that word around like it's golden or something. But uh, maybe we'll see an alligator down here, you know, you never know. But anyway... Um, but you gotta have a niche. And I've got just way too many interests, you know, to uh, have a, to settle on just one thing. So I see those programs, those cowboy programs, those, um, those dramas, the soap operas, um, those kind of shows that were on back then. I consider those shows that are niche shows 
I don't know if you're picking up these green dragonflies or not, but they're pretty. Um, but so those pro programs are niche. And then my show, my, my uh, channel is like another channel. I have variety shows. And these variety shows, it was something different all the time. A lot of funny stuff. A lot of it was live and, you know, so, so it was kind of raw. Um, you'd sometimes see something funny, you'd see something you'd learn something from, sometimes you'd see animals, it was just a variety show where you saw several different, several different, it was never about one thing, and that's what my YouTube channel is, it's the variety show of YouTube, but the thing is, I wonder what that is, the, um, the YouTube algorithm, what they call it, does not push my ship, push my channel because it doesn't have a niche and it doesn't um and it does it's not about one thing so unless people support me unless people like the videos <clears throat> unless they share the videos there's a florida butterfly um the florida state butterfly i think they call it um the black wing um so it's really important for y'all watching my videos to like to subscribe to the channel to like the videos take a few seconds to to do all that and to share the video and even comments comments are great if you leave me a comment just say oh, that's a good video eddie or that's a terrible video eddie or you could do a better job editing, whatever. Any kind of comment, any kind of engagement, that's what they call it. Look at that tree, that's pretty cool. All the Spanish moss down here, the live oaks. It's a cool place. And there again, we're, we're two minutes from a bunch of traffic in downtown, a bunch of turmoil. Um, but anyway, so if y'all could do that for me, y'all could kind of just um, just uh, support me in that way. It doesn't cost anything. A couple of seconds of your time. But you're not going to get spam mail. You're not going to get spammed. I'm not going to send you stuff in your emails and nothing like that. It's just a way for um, YouTube, the algorithm to see that people are interested in my videos and that um I guess we go around this way so anyway I appreciate the ones of y'all who do I have a lot of people who support me and uh, through my all my different online endeavors so I appreciate that it's great, and I like doing these. If if I never make any money off of it, I still like doing it. I still like. Um, looks like. Well, looks like we've come to a dead end, huh? That's interesting. There's not really much signage. So I don't know. Let's just walk and enjoy the afternoon. It's April the 16th. It's gotten a little warm. 80 degrees, but they say that's uh, normal this time of year. The breeze, it feels pretty good. So, here's where I need to put in some music, huh? Walking through the jungle of Vero Beach. I think this is where we come out at, wasn't it? It's just going back. I think it is. Ba -ba 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 -ba. A fun adventure. Who knows where we'll end up? Maybe we'll get eaten by an alligator. Yeah, that's the parking lot back there. 
Maybe we'll get bit by a snake. <laughs> Maybe we'll get carried off by mosquitoes. Who, who knows? Maybe we'll find a Spanish doubloon. Oh, I think we're actually on the trail now. I think we were off trail there. So here we go. Yep, here's some signage down here. Ooh. So Vero Beach is definitely an interesting place. Those of y'all who follow me from South Carolina might know Bowen Springs, South Carolina. You know, it was a really small place. Then they put in a super a super Walmart. And that was the end of that. And now you can't even recognize Bowen Springs from what it was ten years ago. So there's a wild coffee plant. Don't see any coffee beans. But that's what the plant looks like. Seen a lot of butterflies. There were a lot of butterflies at the house today. I saw I had a couple of monarchs fly at the house. But anyway, I'll go back to Bowen Springs. So Bowen Springs, like I say, you can't even recognize it anymore. And I've given some. I've talked to some people who have been at Vero Beach most of their lives or whatever. And, uh, they don't like, you know, of course, the people of Bowen Springs that have lived there for years and years, I don't think they like it very much, and they definitely don't like it here. A lot of the people here, and I'm not saying anything bad about people from New York and New Jersey, but there are some people who just really are just jacking up the traffic. They, uh, they, they don't say, they run stuff. Boy, these, uh, see, these are the butterflies those of us the Florida state butterfly the black wing there's several of them in here there's another one over there beautiful yeah but yeah they're they're um, running star they run red lights like crazy a yellow light means to speed up and uh, run the run the red light real quick. Um, what are they speed? Ten miles over the speed limit? Cops don't even look at you. Everybody does at least ten miles over the speed limit. Maybe we'll see an alligator in here. Here, alligator. Here, buddy. Any alligators in there? Um, switching lanes. I've seen people be in the left-hand turn lane at a stop sign and then jump over when it's the white turns. Hello. Uh, nice. 1.108. Oh, that's the, that's the channel he's listening to, I bet. But isn't this beautiful down in here? And like I say, we're just we're just minutes. Minutes from a busy, busy road. Yeah, that um that uh not the in it but US one, USA A one, whatever they call it. That's one of the most dangerous roads in America. It goes all up and down Florida the state of Florida. That's one of the most dangerous roads in America as far as wrecks and stuff. People just don't drive like they have any sense. They're in too big a hurry to go places. I mean, where you got to be in a hurry to go to when you're retired? And of course, not everybody's retired. But it is what it is. Still beautiful places down here. And there are several of these places that I'm going to take you in and show you. I guess I better be on the lookout for an alligator, huh? Because one could jump up out of here in a minute. Oops. 
think we're about down here to the river. I guess this is part of the Indian River system. It comes in up there above, uh, I think it comes up there around Sebastian. Comes down, empties back out at Fort Pierce, I think. Something like that, I don't know. But it's Indian River system. Taking a walk, making a video. Don't know if it's any good, but at least you're able to see. Nice, huh? That's nice. I like that with the county. Over there at the River Walk, which is just a short a little park over there, they have a little place like this. We'll go to the lagoon. I wonder where that goes. That goes to the lagoon. Doesn't say where this goes. Our main crowd. Any alligators down there? Nope. Nothing wild. First off, it's about towards the evening. You might see a little bit more wildlife. Of course, the alligators and all. Snakes, they like the heat. At least the bugs aren't bad right now. The bugs will also get worse as it gets close to evening. Must be low tide, huh? For it to be so dry. Of course, it has been dry here. Hasn't rained much in a couple of weeks. Look at all that. Can you imagine being in the Spanish conquistadors, the Spanish army, coming to Florida, no bridges, no roads, nothing. You're wearing, you're wearing armor, metal armor, and you're hacking through all this to try to get somewhere to maybe find some gold or some ink of gold or something. Can you imagine that? I always think about that, how in history, and people were a lot, a lot uh, stronger or something because, well, I can't imagine walking for miles through this kind of stuff. Because actually most of Florida was a swamp. I mean, you know, they've reclaimed a lot of stuff. Can you see that? Oh, there you go. I don't know if you can see that spider web or not. Maybe from my side. Nah. I don't know if you're seeing that or not. But I think about that, how people, you know, even people traveling west of this country. I say that Denver, Colorado there, it got started because those people across crossed the Appalachian Mountains, went across all that empty land in Nebraska and Kansas and all through there. And when they got to um to to where Denver's at, and they saw them big old huge mountains, they said, "Screw this! This is a perfect place to build a town." Unfortunately, it's not. It's in the desert, and it's really arid, and they're sucking the water out of the mountains. But that's another story. We're not going to get off on that. But I can imagine just being a I mean, I don't believe I'd make it a mile, especially in armor and carrying provisions. And I think I'd say, nope. I think I've gone far enough. Do, 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 do. Walking along, singing a song on a beautiful afternoon, making a video, 
nothing about anything. Just a little walk in nature. I hear somebody up here. I can imagine us during a big storm. All the water that must come through here. Or I guess it just gets real swampy. Can you see the moon? Did you see the moon? Let's see what goes down here. I guess I should have looked at a map, huh? I think there was a map. <coughs> yeah, I bet in a couple hours this will be real mosquito-y. Lots of skeeters. They just taking an afternoon nap right now. Or something down there, a crab or something. Oh well. It's a blue sky day. So, how many people are still with me? Y'all still watching? Is it getting boring? I think I'll stop. Put it on pause. So I've walked about five more minutes and I've come to this. Here we have seagrasses for the manatees. We want to protect the seagrass. And we've got the protect the jungle giant, the manatees. So, and we're coming up here now. I think it's going to get really nice up here. Maybe we'll see a manatee. Who knows? I hear some people talking up here though, so. We'll see. Oh, look at this. Beautiful, huh? How y'all doing? Y'all catching anything? Yeah? Nice. So that's the bridge over to the island and then to the beaches. We got some guys fishing here. In fact, I'm thinking if we were out over there, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, that's the um, that's the uh, let me go there and have a talk about it. Very beginner fisherman. Oh. I just moved here myself. Okay. <coughs> you trying to catch the bait fish? Is that a bad <laughs> Good luck. Have a great day. This is so nice. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. I can see how on the video it would get a little monotonous. 
Sorry. I'm going to put you on pause if this may be the end of the video. If it is, be sure and support me in the manner that I, t I asked you to. It sure means a lot. Thanks a lot. So there was another sign that said that the lagoon was this way. So I thought that's where we just were, but maybe it's a bigger, I mean, that was basically just a fishing spot. Let's see where this takes us. Do, 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 do. Walking along on a sunny afternoon in Vero Beach. Got some gardening to do. Getting ready to do some peppers. Making some jewelry, rocking and rolling. I need some views on this video. Y'all could help me a lot. Here we go. Oop. Okay, so I don't know how long this is gonna be. Um, so I'm gonna... Okay, so I don't know how far along this goes. So I'm gonna pause the video and we'll see where we end up. I'm a true Florida boy now. I'm hiking in flip-flops and I got dirty feet. So you see there's the road just right up there. There's the houses. There's the Indian River Boulevard. See, we're in this serene place. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's getting a little bit more lagoonish. Any alligators in there? Manatees? Snakes? Murky water. Murky, murky water. They must be here sometimes. Huh? Well, after a few more minutes walking, we're coming up on the lagoon. I saw one sign that said 1.5 miles, but I think it's this road all the way around. There's that one bridge that kind of goes through the middle of everything. I guess my phone will tell me how far I've walked. Oh yeah, this is nice. Of course, they need some shade over that bench. So this is the lagoon. This is nice down here. And now, I don't know if it's quicker to go back that way. We'll go back that way. Look, we're right in the middle. Let's go down here and see what we can see. Some cool rocks, some shells. Oh, all right, water feels good. Not cold at all. And yep, so we got a little bit of water. Yep, and now there's the restaurant. I got a view of the water. I see the sun, but it's not bad. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is where I'm going to end the video, I'm really doing It's just a walk back now. It's been a beautiful afternoon. I'm in the little garden nursery. I'm working on a piece of uh, um, obsidian that I've wrapped. I, I picked it up in Nevada. No, not Nevada, Oregon. Last week's Oregon. I've got it wrapped when I get back to the house. It's Early in the morning, we'll finish that up. It's going to be a beautiful piece of joy, a beautiful necklace. But, I'll let you listen to Celine Waves with me for a minute. And now I'm going to head back. Mm-hmm.
spot on really hit me this. That's what this is. I can make a meditation video right here. <laughs> okay. Peace out. Or let's look like this. So this is the main trail. It first starts off right here by the road. You can see how busy it is. It's just crazy it's traffic around here. Of course, I'm used to living in the mountains of Colorado and Wyoming. I'm not used to any traffic except for cows, maybe an elk or moose herd. So this is actually the beginning of the trail. The main trail, the trail I took started out on was the um, little loop trail, which wasn't much. But here we go. Isn't this cool? So this is actually the end. And again, I'm going to tell you, this is definitely the end of the video. <laughs> Take care. Take care of each other. Peace and love. Later. <laughs>